On October 10, 2024, two churches from Ballard County, Kentucky, came together to make a mission trip to far eastern Kentucky. Faith Baptist Church in Wycliffe and New Hope Baptist Church in Monkey's Eyebrow traveled to Lynch, Kentucky for a mission trip. The six and a half hour drive turned into 10 hours because of road work about middle ways. But the beautiful scenery made it all worth it. The morning fog in the mountains is breathtaking. We went to Lynch, Kentucky in Harlan County. The whole area was a coal mining um, industry, coal mining towns, and when the coal mines shut down, the area's main source of income was gone. There's a coal mining museum in the county. This is uh, shown here is Lynch, Kentucky. Uh, this is when we first got to Harlan County, uh, going through the town to the uh, place we stayed. Um, there's the museum on the left there is the coal mining museum. Uh, that's actually one small town over, but uh, we were driving through and all of it looks like this. But look at the beautiful mountains in the background. It's just a, a beautiful area. So we stayed um, at a place called Solomon's Porch, um, which is a part of the um, Marizzo Group. And uh, the Marizzo Group runs several missions in the area, including Solomon's Porch, uh, which is a place where the uh, people can go to help with missions, and that's where they stay. So uh, Solomon's Porch is an old 104-year-old uh, hospital that they have turned into a uh, retreat, um, and it's a nice place. One thing I didn't like was the elevator. <laughs> this is the elevator. That's weird. That, that's weird. Uh, yeah. Key. <laughs> key. Looks like a yeah. keyhole. Yeah. So it had a, um, like an old great door in there. It was kind of strange to operate. And uh, I'm scared of elevators anyway, so there you go. Uh, but that was Solomon's Porch. Um, we had a good stay there. Uh, Terry and Lee Tipton uh, are running the Solomon's Porch now, and they are actually from uh, uh, Terry Pastured at Spring Bayou um, in Ballard County for uh, 13 years, they told us. And now they run the Solomon's Porch. So that was interesting. Uh, so the Solomon's Porch is part of the Meridzo Mer group, and um, there's a view from the porch. It was just beautiful. But uh, so this group, um, this group, it has several missions there, and one of their missions is a place called um, Shekinah Village which is where we actually went to to do our mission work at the farm. Uh, we done a fall festival at the farm. And um, work day at the farm. So we went there to help clean up around the farm. Uh, we've done a lot of hard work, as you'll see in some of these clips. Uh, we were all exhausted by the end of the day. They had us really working, um, doing a lot of stuff to get ready for this fall festival. And uh, so uh, the fall festival is just one of the many events they have there that you can go out and help with um, as a mission, uh, as a mission trip. And... Um, so uh, here we are uh, going out to the main uh, area where they have picnic tables to help clean out there. They done a lot of decorating uh, after we cleaned the tables. 
and it turned out beautiful. Everything at the event, everything at the fall festival was free to the uh, community and uh, except for the things in the gift shop, which was uh, local crafts that uh, people in the community had made and sell there. And uh, then the cantina um, had uh, some um, old fashioned sodas that were $2 a piece. And uh, so that makes them uh, just a little money, I guess. But a lot of the uh, crafts in the shop were from uh, local local crafters there. But everything else for the, you know, for the fall festival the next day, everything was free. Uh, everything's free for the, you know, local community there. So um, that all of the, uh, even the food, the food and the, and the games and just everything for the whole day was uh, free for them. Uh, so here's after cleanup. I just love the way they decorated the tables after we cleaned up. A lot more decorating went on throughout the day. Now this is the next day, uh, time for the fall festival. And uh, they had uh, oh, farm equipment for them to, to look at. All of that out there is where the horses were. And uh, they gave horseback rides and hay rides. And there's little bunk houses um, that you see there. There's a pond with paddle boats out there. Uh, look at the fog. There was always a little fog in the mornings on everything that is just beautiful. Um, so this is uh, Saturday morning when we were arriving to set up uh, for the day. <clears throat> A lot of it wasn't set up here yet. There were uh, several different churches that came from all over. And then here's where the community started coming in. They said there was, uh, they averaged or they uh, estimated about 1,300 people that came through. Um, <clears throat> everyone was getting these stuffed animals. It was funny. Somebody said even older people, even adults were getting the stuffed animals for free. Um, Faith Baptist Church supplied this popcorn maker and they had us set it up in this horse trailer, which was very interesting. But uh, Faith Baptist Church supplied the popcorn maker and uh, Rudy's Farm Center donated the popcorn. So we handed out, oh my gosh, I don't know, I feel like 500 at least, 500 bags of popcorn. Uh, probably more than that, actually. And uh, while we were handing out popcorn, we were witnessing. Um, the others were playing games. Faith Baptist Church took a couple of games that they had, um, but, uh, beanbag toss and stuff like that. And uh, while the while they were playing the games with the kids. They were witnessing to them and loving on them and um, 
they strongly encouraged that we witness to them, pray with them, hug on them, and um, and it was just wonderful. It was wonderful. Most all of the games uh, shown are uh, donated by the churches that came. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> we had a lot of laughs and a lot of fun, and everybody got along so well. And... Um, it was just a great day. One of these boys had a 16th birthday party while we were there. And uh, so we, we gave him some gifts and a, and a cake. And everyone enjoyed themselves. There's a little girl given, um, given a hug. Um, she was so appreciative. They all, all were. They were so appreciative of us coming there. So it was a great experience. And I would definitely will do it again if I get the opportunity. So uh, it, it was great.